Hey, what's up guys? I'm here bringing you another video. This video is mainly for newbies. Now, over on the PMDG and the Batsim Facebook groups, you have a lot of new guys that post up, um, every time they get an error, they'll post up and say, you know, my FSX is crashing, I'm getting this error, can you help me fix it? Now, the easiest way to troubleshoot an error in FSX is to go to the event viewer and find out what's causing FSX to crash. All right, now, first thing we're gonna do is, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna see if I can get FSX to crash. Right now, I got it running, and um, the easiest way to get it to crash for me is by choosing a plane, and while that little circle is spinning, just keep clicking and then click close. And there you have it, FSX crash. Now what we're gonna do is click on the start menu or the start button, type event viewer, go to the event viewer, click on windows logs over here and then click on application. And right there, you'll see the error. And the source, it says application hang. And that's what called the error. Usually, if it was something something else, like a file, you would see it right down here. You would see fault in package, full name, and you'll see the name, you would see the name of the application or the file that called FSX to crash. Like earlier, the file that called it to crash was um, that program from GSX. Oh, well, not really from GSX, but it's this particular program that FS Dream Team uses. I guess it's their, uh, it's a program to pr prevent piracy. And a lot of people don't like it. Me personally, uh, it's not that much of a big deal, but, you know, I deal with it because I use a few airports and uh, GSX from FS Dream Team. And you can see the file that caused FSX to crash earlier was kernel base. So once you get all this information, you go ahead and close it out, close out the event viewer, and then you just open up a browser window. And then you just search FSX kernel base or whatever the name of the area is. And then it'll come up with a few topics. Usually, there's a strong chance that other people are experiencing the same problem that you might be experiencing and there's usually a topic on AppSim or FlightSim.com or you know anywhere where people usually get together to talk about FSX you know so hope you guys like this video please share and subscribe and you know let me know if you have any requests I'll try to post more videos and help you guys troubleshoot all the issues that you're having. Anyway, thanks for watching and peace out.